Hello everyone, it's Pastor Jim from Zion Lutheran and uh, I come to you today because, well, there's a lot going on and some of it's not so good. So um, what we have found in the last couple of days is that Zion's been broken into, our office anyway, uh, uh, twice within the last 10 days. Um, we found it all in video and we kind of know some things that have been taken. There's going to be an email coming out uh, that will explain it all in detail. But uh, just know that some locks are being changed and some things are changing up. So um, uh, please look forward to seeing more about that from myself and from our president, Sarah Winsloff. And so uh, we'll tell you more about that. Nobody's been hurt. That's good news. But uh, some offices uh, have been broken into uh, as such. The police have been called. They have responded. And uh, they are doing their work as we continue to do ours to make our our, uh, our church more secure. So please know that uh, and know that uh, more details will be coming out in an email that you can read, okay? Uh, coming up on March 25th uh, is a Justice Summit that's uh, put on by the, uh, the Southeast Michigan Synod, and that's at St. John's in Farmington. I believe it's free. You just need to register for it. Uh, so those will be in the announcement sheet. Uh, those links will be there that you can find online. Also, um, come, something's coming up. Uh, Holy Week is just around the corner. This is the week four in Lent already. So we're looking forward to uh, the uh, Palm and Passion Sunday is also our Easter Jam that uh, is happening uh, on April 2nd at 10, 10 time, either in, they, they hope to be outside, uh, but if not, they'd be uh, inside in the gathering and upstairs. So uh, please make note of that. Put it on your calendar to reserve that. It'll be a lot of fun. Hopefully, like I say, we'll be outside and a lot of fun things happening there. Uh, also, April 2nd, that Sunday afternoon at four o'clock is our choir concert called The Crucifixion. And so uh, please put that on your calendar as well and uh, come back. It's free. It's just in our sanctuary. So got some soloists and some musicians. It's going to be wonderful. So please make note of that. Also, finally, I want to talk about our Holy Week schedule. Uh, certainly, we got Monday, Thursday. There's a noon and seven, both uh, live stream and in person. We got Good Friday. Again, that's noon and seven, and those will both be live stream and in person. We also have an Easter vigil at 7 p.m., uh, and that's an hour now, just an hour. We actually have a baptism for Easter vigil, so please make note of that. And then on Easter Sunday, we have our 9 and 11 11 services, no education hour in between, and no nursery that day, so please make note of that uh, as, as such. So uh, we are continuing to make our way through Lent, and uh, along the way there seems to be a little more suffering than we, we thought we were going to have, but uh, it'll all be good. Seriously. So uh, we will find our way through this as well. So, hey, I wish you guys richest blessings. Uh, this week we got about the blind man from John, the Gospel of John, being able to uh, see again, and uh, it's a beautiful gospel. It's a little still long again, so there'll be some fun ways that we'll read that, but uh, I hope to see you uh, in person or online or along the way that we journey. God's blessings, everyone. Bye-bye.